Hello, in this video, I'm going to create microblaze design for Disneyland Arctic 7 Nexus 4 DDR board in the Vivado 2019.1. I will also add a ZBIO functionality in the design. For more information about the board, you can check the link in the description below. Now let's begin with creating a new project. This is the very important step. Here we have to select the board to implement the design. If you don't see the board on your Vivado ID, you have to add the board files manually. Or you might need to check the installed board files in the Vivado installation directory. After this, we can proceed further. Okay, new project has been successfully created. We can now proceed to make the block design by creating new block design here. We have to now add the necessary IP blocks in the diagram workspace. Let's first add microblaze IP. Here we can do run block automation. Based on the design cases, we can set different options value as necessary. But for current design scenario, we can let all the options value as it is and click OK. The Vivado automatically adds all the necessary IP blocks and interfaces. Apart from this, if you don't want to do run block automation, you have to add exactly these IPs one by one and do the connections manually. But for now, we can go with it. Now we need to do a little customization in the clocking wizard IP. Here we have to set the interface system clock for this clock interface. By doing this, system clock of the board will be connected to this clock interface. And in the same way, we have to add the interface for the reset. By doing this, the board reset pin will be connected to reset pin of clocking wizard IP. Now let's come to the output clocks tab. Here we don't change anything but reset type. This is very very important. Lots of users don't know about this. We must set the reset type active low. If you don't do this, the microblaze will be held in a reset mode and design will not launch anymore. For more details, visit board manual. I have included the link in the description below. Now let's do the run connection automation. We need to check these all. Let's regenerate the layout. Okay, now this forms the microblaze base design. We can head further for doing lots of things, for example, adding and interfacing other IPs. I'm going to add CPI IP to access board peripherals, such as switches and LEDs. Here are two ways of adding CPI IPs. Either you can manually add the IPs or drag it from the board tab. If you drag from the board tab, the Vivado will automatically connect the board switches or LEDs to the IP. For example, I'm going to drag and drop switches GPIO like this. Let's rename this block as GPIO switch. Here you see this icon means board switch is connected to GPIO IP interface. On the contrary, if you add GPIO IP manually, then you need to connect the board interface manually by customization. Okay, I'm going to add GPIO IPs for LEDs. Let's rename this as GPIO LED. Now open customization window. The GPIO IP has two channels, but I'm going to use GPIO channel only. And here we need to select this for connecting LEDs and click OK. Here you see the LED is successfully connected. However, we have to make this interface external manually by pressing Ctrl T. Let's rename this port and give the name LED. And also rename this. Let's give name switch SW. Okay, now we can proceed run connection automation. Check all 
and then click OK. Let's regenerate layout. Let's add one more IP that is USB UART IP. This IP will be used for UART communication. Let's drag and drop. Let's regenerate the layout. Okay, there we go. The design has been completed. Let's validate the design. The validation is successful. We can now head for adding constraint for board interface. Here all these L icons means the board interfaces are already connected. Therefore we don't have to write constraint for them. Otherwise, if the block design has newly defined ports, then we must create and write constraint for them. For my case, I can now move to generate the bit stream. But before I have to create SDL wrapper first. We can follow synthesis implementation and bitstream generation steps one after another. However, when we directly go over generate bitstream, Vivado will cover all the steps one by one. So let's begin generate bitstream. Vivado will do the rest of the work. We have to wait until bitstream generation completes. I will skip the video after this. Okay, bitstream generation is completed. We have to write the code because the design has host processor and IPs that need initialization and configuration. Let's export hardware. Let's include a bitstream. Now launch the SDK. Okay, now here we have to create application to write the code. So let's create application project. Give the name for the application. Here we have to select proper hardware platform. The by default SDK has selected the proper hardware platform. Here we see available templates to begin creating new application. I'm going with the selecting Hello World template. Let's begin writing the code. We write code from the main function. While writing the code, we first have to include IP header and then declare instance variable for each IP. And after that, we come to write the code. First, we have to initialize the IP and then configure it. Okay, the coding is finished. The coding is done in such a way that whenever slide switch is high, the corresponding LED will be turned on. Now we can head for launching the application. Before launching, we have to do run configuration. Here we have to check this and then apply. By doing this, Whenever we run the application, the SDK will first do the board reset and then programs the beta stream. And then finally, application will be launched. Okay, now adding the terminal. We have to connect the board first before making the connection. 
we need to do terminal configuration and then can be connected okay let's launch the design Launch is successful. We are getting terminal messages as well as a board is also programmed. Here, when I do slide switch high, the corresponding LED will be turned on. In this way, the Microblaze design implementation on Nexus board completes. Thank you for watching.